just had this experience with a group of parents online that um, it's wonderful and important to more to the point it's important to be able to share with people the trials and challenges that you have as a parent that's really important because you're not alone there's no reason to be ashamed of you know mistakes that we make as parents you know reaching out to parents it's the reason why you do what you all do um reaching out to each other to create support networks for parents is a, literally a lifeline and keeps us sane as parents and there is a boundary that sometimes parents forget that when they are sharing with other people um, about the challenges that they have, they can violate their children's privacy. And so I just had an experience recently where a parent said incredibly, incredibly personal, intimate information about her child. And it was to people in a community that may have the opportunity and probably do to even know that child. And so she was doing it because she wants the best for her child. She, I have no doubt she has the best of intentions for her child. Um, she needed support from other parents. She wanted to share. And yet at the same time in doing so, she really, really did something that when, her ch when children find out about that, they really disengage because it's such a violation. I mean, remember what it feels like when you're a teenager to have your parents even say like your name or introduce you to people or say the most, like, most basic information about you. So I want us to be really careful that when we're reaching out to other parents that we don't inadvertently violate um, what's really important, important about respecting our children's privacy and their right to have their experiences and not have other people know about it. I, yeah, I just want to be a little transparent here in that a lot of what's going through my head is also like we have kids, right? And <laughs> we, we do this online and we do talk about our kids. And uh, yeah. we, granted, this is a different situation that many people are probably dealing with. But at the same time, we do talk to our kids and we let them know, hey, we're going to okay talk. okay if about, I share that yeah, story? Can we do this? Can we do exactly. that? Exactly. Yeah, if I it's, post this picture, exactly. I sometimes exactly. I, like have my kids read my emails or read my posts or something. If there's something about them, I have them like look at it beforehand. And that goes for anybody that like we have an online business, but any parent, exactly. I think that's nice to have teens um, or younger people like read posts, read stuff, approve yeah, photos absolutely. before they go up. Yeah. yeah, and I, I think what's important about that is it treats them with dignity and it treats them with inherent worth. And also, you know, your children are much more likely to come talk to you about the problems that they're having if they see that you um, are reaching out for support, that you're not like pretending that you are perfect all the time, but that you recognize that they're, that, that, you know, your children are separate people and have the right to a separate life. And so when we do that and we are able to balance that, then our, then our children are much more likely to come to us when they really need it. So it's just a really, it's an important thing, it's hard. Um, we all make mistakes. I've made mistakes. I've definitely made mistakes along this line. And you can always go back to your kid and say like, Hey, I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry about like posting that picture. I shouldn't have done it without your consent. And that when you do that, my experience with young people, my you know, young people I work with and you know, the people that I have in my house, <laughs> that, um, that when you make a mistake that, you know, they, they do give us the benefit of the doubt, right? If we mean it and we're consistent with it and we don't just keep doing it over and over again, they really do believe us and they really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Real quick. I yeah. just liked your example about posting pictures because that just reminded me like that's one of the just having nothing to do with happily family, just us and our family. We take pictures and we post them, they post them once in a while. And just it's a really simple thing that we have where we just have an agreement that if I'm going to post a picture that has them in it, I just check in with them. And it's really quick and it's really easy. And we and, ask that they do the same with us. Yeah. <laughs> right. Really but, nice. Yeah. But yeah it's, it's like a mutual respect around that. And it's just simple. Yeah. Like It doesn't have to be like something big and arduous and like long conversations. Hey, can we sit out? It's like just, you know, I text them. Hey, can I, can I post this picture? And it's like for me personally, not for our business. Yeah, just, absolutely. And absolutely. They get it. They get that. So that includes, by the way, I would say, because sometimes parents like to um, like if they have a funny conversation with their child that they think is cute or shows how smart their child is or whatever they cut and paste or they or they or they don't cut and paste they like write the conversation that happened and post it on Facebook and you know I'm not a big fan of that frankly um, but I would definitely ask your kid how they feel about that about you doing that before you post it I think that's helpful yeah, yeah. okay so because privacy is super important and um, when I was reading your uh, book Queen Bees and Wannabes uh, you asked the teens should a parent or could a parent check their child's cell phone? Oh, mm -hmm. so talk about that because you got a little bit of a mixed 
response. And you talk to a lot of teens. This isn't yeah. just like your teens in your household. Like you talk to a oh, lot yeah. of teens. So this yeah, is like, yeah. comes from a lot yeah. of information. Yeah. I mean, okay. So there, I think the answer really, so overall, this way I look at this is that, and you're going to hear this from every like expert like this, right? That these kinds these kinds of things are about graduated freedoms and that you, you know, build skills just like you do with everything so that a young person gets a phone and they learn how to use it. They learn, they use it according to your family values, which this is for me, this is always about dignity. So I said a minute ago that dignity is the inherent worth of somebody. And I think that using social media in any way is teaching young people that they need to treat themselves with dignity. They need to treat them, they have a responsibility to treat themselves with dignity online their friends with dignity online and their peers, their community, their family. And so you can, like everything is about, you have a responsibility to treat people with dignity online. And that means, you know, that for example, you don't post pictures online, you know, without people's consent. Or that you don't see something that's funny to you, but humiliating to somebody else and that you post it because you think it's funny, right? Like one, a very important value, a principle for a family should be with social media and technology is, Someone else's embarrassment is not your, um, uh, not your entertainment. So it's that those kinds of things are really important because you can't keep up with like, okay, TikTok is super, super popular right now, but a couple of years from now, it, it might not be. So you don't have to be like, you don't have to do like the family TikTok videos. to like keep up with stuff. You need to actually have a principle based approach to technology and to your your real life, you know, whatever that means, because it's also connected. And then you apply those principles to concrete things. So the other example is it's not just about phones. This, as soon as you give your child a headset with a game and so they're playing a multiplayer game, they are interacting with people and they are going to hear terrible things. 